can I enter here? The best you've ever had, baby. How about a quickie? Nah. Cheap. I don't do no tricks no odds, yo. I'd much rather get with you than go with Nero. Come on, man. Look at the equipment you <laughs> got. Jensen. Ooh, well, you promise you not to be too demo. rough and maybe I'll give oh, yeah, you that's a freebie. Right one. Jensen. My God, it's been a while. Remember me? That's kind of undercover job. the old job. 17th precinct back in the day. Man. I wish I could go with the good old, you haven't changed at all <laughs> bit, but all bit. that'd be complete and utter bullshit, Yeah, right? totally different person. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict rowballers. I've got to hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Okay. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. Okay. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs, but he's clever. And we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? How about the target, O'Malley? Got any more info? He's a cop, but he went on assignment with the feds for a while. No reports, no address, nothing. We're pretty sure he got tied up in major covert ops, but never got anything solid on him. He has a badge, but he doesn't feel like a cop at all. I haven't walked the beat in a while. Could you give me a quick sit rep of the local gangs? <laughs> you know. Gangs are not the finest example of evolution, if you catch my drift. Everything's pretty much the same. The derelict row ballers are still dealing and stealing, getting into fights with Augs, and defacing augmented people's property. Yeah, right. Upstanding citizens. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have the Motor City Bangers. Ignorant scumbags just like the DRBs, only some of them are augmented scumbags. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. For the experience like I said, points. I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Okay, but we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True, but thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me, I usually play by the book. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. Yep. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. 
And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not gonna turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One Can't of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Oops. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Okay, so this is a bit bigger. of evidence. the roof thanks to the arrival of William Taggart celebrity author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization Humanity Front now we are going to say because this is going to like otherwise be explosive stuff ouch then you could actually stop trying package of drugs nice mines and drugs twenty five percent chance of detection well that's not a lot Access granted. Security gate. Some fucked up. get two places at once. Access grant. Nuke 
fighters and shotgun cartridges. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me, just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. So what's the plan? You make a call and rat one of the bangers out? Then the DRBs retaliate and so on and so forth until they wipe themselves out? Pretty much. What about innocent casualties? These thugs aren't exactly expert marksmen, and it's pretty hard to aim from the window of a moving car. Trap what could be worth such a risk? I won't discuss my motives with you. I hired you to do a job. Just do it. I don't understand what you're getting out of this. It sounds to me like you're just the middleman for someone else. You think too much, my friend. This could prove to be a source of great personal discomfort for you in the near future. You don't sound like a cop. You, on the other hand, are starting to sound exactly like one. I strongly suggest you simply get on with the program. So what is it I'm picking up and where is it exactly? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. In front of it, on the other side of the street, you'll see a door that leads to a maintenance corridor. In the first corner of that corridor, you will find a crossbow hidden amongst the trash and debris. Use it to kill Double T. I need a more precise location on the target. There's a small back alley known to the locals as Earl's Court. Earl's Court. You can access Double T's building using the fire escape. He's in one of the apartments on the fourth floor. I can get inside Derelict Row, but where can I find their weapon stash? Look for an old concrete structure that is boarded up and condemned. I believe they stock their supplies right underneath it. I guess that's it for now. Come on, baby.
That this this seems perfect. See, didn't I tell you it was a stupid idea to let those purity first assholes set up camp on our turf? Yeah, but it wasn't our decision, so too bad. Besides, they paid rent like everybody else, so what's the big deal? Come on. These fucks have been coming in here promising all sorts of glory and bullshit if we join them. And all they're doing is getting us killed. You're just jealous because they never took you. After the way they fucked up their op in Milwaukee Junction, they should have just blown <laughs> up that building sky high with every fucking Robohogger inside. Junction. Sanders is all talk. Then why'd you bring them up? Someone, you dead, man. What the fuck is that? It ain't. Nothing here. Jesus, what happened to you? Ah, missed. That was missed and then I died. Wasn't wasn't careful enough. I shouldn't leave those bodies in the middle of something. Yep. Marksman. I'm, I'm getting marksman when I shoot from like two meters. basically got stuck last time. Oh, 
they are probably under here or something. So what what's this place? Ah very useful. Marker where the target would be. Can actually easily get. Although that that building is. A window open it, it has a like <laughs> blue triangle marking the marking the mission so I guess this is it TMP-18 from Serac. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Serac carried those. Double T cut him a break on his rent. Did I... Break something? Yes, code, please. Three, seven, seven, three, three. He has pretty nice arms. Yeah, he, they are orcs. The Popos feeding them weapons. That's just fucked, man. Popos, feds, look, somebody's slipping. Uh, the so, the are you in on this or not? Well, I guess we could get in. Now that being said. I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened Someone here. over there! Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Seraph, united in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if millionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovation first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront, will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an who is it? You gonna stay out there, asshole? Back again to Detroit, where a handful of people were taken to the building following yet another anti-augmentation demonstration. Son of a bitch! We need help here! Ain't got nothing yet! They never learn. Ouch. And that security rating is two. That's crazy. Okay, what do we have here? Pistols and dirty magazines, beer. 
nothing illegal. Well, it's, it's a safe house. So they need to have a shower and toilet then. Access granted. Finally. And I, I can't buy unlimited amount of those practice kits. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. My guys got their hands on Double T, and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? Here's the weapon used in the dealer's yeah, murder. Lie. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you've found proof he's got free satellite TV? Excellent. No, that about covers it. I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? Sure. It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete. You play a dangerous game, O'Malley. Manipulating people, killing them. What's happening here shouldn't come as a surprise. It's an inevitable consequence. In the end, it seems you and I aren't so different, Mr. Jensen. You too seem to consider this world only through cold, hard facts. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. Save your breath. We're done with this bullshit. You're going down. So be it. Turn to Jenny. Hey, she, she's here. So? What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well, whatever it is your cute ass is working on okay, these Okay, so they had something. Hmm. Information network. Now we have finally time to end this. Okay. Somebody has been taken. No offense, but uh, if it were up to me, this place would have a no-og policy. Ah, uh, because Adam is actually... Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Oh no. My browsing, <laughs> browsing history. Uh, maybe 
Happy Adam has been a naughty boy. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. I heard they want to give David Seraf the key to the city. Something about the city's rebirth. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Well, this is quite a quite a far apartment. Ah, there's another combat rifle. Well, this is upgraded, so... Or is it? Okay, where's my computer? Here. Living with your new cybernetic prosthetic. All you need to do. There, there they are. Or is it his parents? I wonder. This is interesting to look look the person's. So he has been smoking. Then sandwich. Get well card. Auge mein Koko. May you heal quickly with hope. Yeah. So he, have, he has been really recovering. Okay, so I got 200 experience points from reading this. Apparently this is quite expensive. Call landlord replacement mirror again. Maybe he doesn't like his mirror image. They seem to be sleeping really low. Okay. And there's probably there's a kitchen here. All right. Crunchy pirate. So he can actually cook. That food seems um, past past the. Before so there's a box and it's it's not open, so he kind of did he download all his stuff here. So he's still in the process of move. There's another assault rifle here. Okay, Adam is losing his assault rifles. Finished. So he, he has been mourning. Yeah, there's family photos, papers. Makes you wonder if he, he's actually ready for the job he's giving. There's army buddies or SWAT, SWAT buddies. And he 
his long-term girlfriend. Child and violence. Spot. Kurps spot. That's actually... Yeah, it's Kurps spot. That's a role-playing book. Being more effective human traffic. Planter of cakes. Desk rooster. Human traffic. Loves of Detroit. Seems like a police to me. Here's the, here's the spot po picture. Yeah, Kurps spot. Yeah, definitely. Interesting. He has been building something. Model telescope. So it's it's like back window uh, idea. Yeah, uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie, where the guy who has broken his leg uh, legs uh, uh, leg actually looks. Uh, through the back window and see something that he shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, he has been keeping himself busy with the project. So basically, quite sad, st sad apartment. But then again, this is actually environmental storytelling. This is actually good storytelling here. Uh, while the story actually goes up and down, so this is not. The storytelling quality isn't quite there always, but this this actually actually is pretty good. We get to glimpse to the Adam Adam's uh, inner 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 mind. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. Ghost in the shell. So he wasn't working Idea. alone. Someone off site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. Ghost and whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here, an abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Yeah. Mr. Jensen, in respect to your latest reminder to have the mirror of your bathroom replaced, may I remind you once again that the item is a back order. And while the subject, we are still unclear as to how precisely this mirror came to be damaged. Perhaps you can enlighten us. Your dog. Okay, so his, his, his dog is killed, or put to sleep, basically. Kubrick. Okay, that, that was dark. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way.
thanks for watching. Uh, if you watch this late, a little later, uh, as a VOD or video on demand or as a YouTube series, uh, please like and subscribe at at least at the other YouTube side because otherwise the algorithms don't really remember that I exist. So anyway, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, There's lots of